In this video, I'm going to explain nominal, period, and effective interest rates. Financial agencies usually report the interest rate on an annual basis. The interest rate can be compounded once or more per year. If the interest rate is compounded annually, it means the interest rate is compounded once per year. If the interest rate is compounded quarterly, then interest rate is compounded four times a year. And if interest rate is compounded monthly, it means interest rate is compounded 12 times a year. Let's work on an example. Assume you deposit $100 in an imaginary bank account that gives you 6% interest rate compounded annually. So nominal interest rate is 6% compounded annually. The interest rate of 6% is compounded once a year. And you will receive interest and the principal of your money in the end of year one. So you will receive $100 multiplied by 1 plus 6% uh, power 1 in the end of year one, which equals $106. Now let's assume bank pays you 6% interest compounded quarterly. So it means nominal interest rate is 6% quarterly or interest rate will be compounded four times a year an interest rate is calculated and at the end of each quarter in order to calculate the amount of money that you will receive in the end of year one we need to calculate the period interest rate which is going to be six percent divided by four and it equals 1.5 percent you deposit your hundred dollars at present time and bank calculates the interest with the rate of 1.5 percent per quarter there are four quarters in a year so the interest will be compounded four times per year at the at the rate of 1.5 percent per quarter then at the end of the year you will receive a hundred dollars multiplied by one plus 0 0.015 power 4 which equals 106 dollars plus 14 cents as you can see if bank considers interest rate which is compounded quarterly it will give you slightly higher interest comparing to the case that interest rate was compounded annually Now let's assume bank pays you 6% interest compounded monthly, which means interest rate is compounded 12 times a year. In this case, bank calculates the interest every month. And similar to the previous example, pre period interest rate is going to be 6% divided by 12, which is going to be 0.5% per month. And you will receive $100 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.005 power 12, which equals $106 plus 17 cents. Because there are 12 compounding periods and per period interest is 0.5%. As you can see here, interest rate is compounded monthly. So you will receive a slightly higher money in the end of the year. The more compounding period per year you have, the higher interest you will receive in the end of the year.